Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video I'm going to show you how to create a uh, password strength uh, calculator. So uh, we are not going to use uh, third party libraries, instead I'm going to teach you how to do it all by yourself. So uh, this is the final version of our project and uh, as you can see we have a simple password uh, edit text and uh, when we type uh, even a one character uh, our app is uh, checking in real time if that password contains uh, lowercase, uppercase letters, digits or a special characters and uh, accordingly it's uh, highlighting what you need to improve with your password so that uh, the login button can be enabled and uh, you can proceed next. Uh, okay so this is our uh, uh, layout and uh, this is how it will look like. So I'm not going to uh, create this design from scratch. I have already designed this layout and uh, as you can see it uh, has this uh, uh, password edit text on the left side. On the right side we have a simple text view which is showing uh, the strength level and uh, below those two views we have a, a custom view uh, which is uh, which has the ID of strength level indicator and uh, it basically represents uh, one simple line with a height of uh, 2D and uh, we're going to change its uh, color uh, programmatically uh, later. So below that we have those uh, password uh, suggestions for lowercase letters, uppercase letters and so on. And we have a login button. Okay, so uh, as simple as that. Okay, so uh, as you can see this is our uh, uh, XML code. So our root layout has a padding of 24 dp. Our um, edit text background is uh, transparent. Uh, our uh, height of edit text is uh, 40 dp and uh, it has the constraint horizontal weight of 3 and our text view on the right side has a constraint horizontal weight of 1. Okay, so those two uh, attributes are important and uh, you should also remember the IDs of each one of those. And down below as you can see this is a custom view which has the ID of strength level indicator and uh, its background is a uh, light gray and its height is only 2 dp so basically it represents a simple line uh, down below we have this uh, button which uh, is not enabled at, as a default but it will be an enabled uh, dynamically uh, later and uh, down below as you can see we have image view and text view for each uh, one of those uh, password uh, suggestion so for lowercase letters for uh, uh, uppercase letters we have uppercase uh, image uppercase text and so on so uh, those uh, uh, pa uh, those uh, password suggestions will be highlighted uh, dynamically uh, from our application and you will see. So this is how our uh, app uh, layout will look like. Okay, so uh, let me just open this uh, colors XML and I have already added uh, some of those uh, colors in this project. Okay, so don't worry, this project will be available for you to download. And uh, let's create now a new class named uh, Password Strength uh, Calculator. So in this class we're going to create all the necessary logic needed for us to calculate the password strength. So our class will extend a text watcher. As you can see, uh, when an object of this type is attached to an editable, its methods will be called when the text is changed. So we're going to bind this uh, text watcher with our password input. And first let's uh, import those uh, three uh, methods here. So click OK. And uh, we're going to only use this third method on text changed. And those first two methods uh, are not going to be used inside uh, this project. Okay, so uh, so uh, here inside this on text change, uh, we're going to uh, write some code. So uh, so basically, this on text change uh, will be triggered uh, whenever we type something inside our uh, password uh, edit text. And now inside the main activity, we're going to bind that. Uh, password edit text with this um, with our class so let's add this text change listener and uh, when you click control p you will see that uh, it accepts uh, text watcher as a parameter so now we're going to initialize our password strength calculator and as you can see our password strength calculator is basically extending that uh, text watcher so we're going to pass this uh, object of this class inside the parameter of this uh, add text change listener and now in this on text change method i'm going to change the the name of the char sequence parameter but first let's create a few uh, mutable live data objects so first let's create a new uh, variable named the strength level and it will have the type of a string uh, wrapped in the mutable live data and i'm going to create another one named the strength color and it will have the type of integer wrapped in a mutable live data uh, next we're going to create uh, four different uh, mutable live data for uh, okay so i'm going to just set that to var instead of val because we're going to change its uh, values later 
So uh, this one will be named the lowercase. It will have the type of integer and the default value will be zero. Next, I'm going to create uppercase and digit and a special character. And uh, those four uh, immutable live data will have the default value of zero. But we're going to change that dynamically uh, later in this uh, tutorial. So uh, inside this on text change, I have renamed this char sequence parameter to char, and I'm to say if char is not null, then we're going to execute some code inside, and that basically means that uh, uh, whenever we type something inside our uh, input, then this uh, will uh, be triggered. Okay, so I'm going to create a new uh, four of uh, new. Uh, uh, different extension functions. So uh, those uh, extension functions are uh, called on a char sequence. And uh, basically, I'm going to name this first class has lowercase and it will return a boolean. So if our uh, password uh, contains uh, a lowercase, it will return true, else it will return false. So first here, I'm creating a simple pattern using a regular expression. And I'm going to say here a uh, from a to z in a lowercase. And next, I'm going to create a matcher named uh, has lowercase. And I'm going to use a pattern to match this uh, char sequence because this has lowercase will be used on a char sequence. So that's why I'm passing this because I'm referring to char sequence. And I'm going to return uh, has lowercase dot find. And uh, if our uh, password or char sequence contains lowercase, then it will return true, else it will return false. So it's simple as that. And uh, we're going to create uh, three more extension functions all uh, on our char sequence class. So I'm going to just uh, create a new one and I'm going to paste that and just uh, change the name to uh, has uppercase. And here for the regular expression, I'm going to type from A to Z in uh, uppercase. And uh, I'm going to rename this variable to has uppercase. And uh, there you go. Next, let's create the third one. This will be named uh, has a digit. And it will have the regular expression of uh, from zero to nine. Okay, and here I'm going to name uh, to rename this variable to has digit. Uh, okay, and now let's create a new one. So uh, the fourth one will have the name of uh, has a special character. And uh, this time for the regular expression, I'm going to basically type uh, every uh, special character there is. So uh, uh, take your time until you type uh, everything here. Okay, so underscore equal. For some characters, you might need an escape character. So for example, uh, for those uh, brackets, so you will see uh, the escape characters here is uh, written with uh, two slashes. And uh, as you can see, uh, escape character is used for a character uh, uh, like that. So for those uh, brackets and uh, in front of those brackets, we have two slashes and those are called uh, escape characters. OK, and uh, that's it. So all our special characters uh, should be located inside those uh, brackets. And now let's uh, rename this uh, to has special care and let's return that, okay? So inside our uh, on text change, inside this if block, I'm going to uh, set the value of uh, those four uh, mutable live data, lowercase, uppercase letters, digit and special care. So if uh, this uh, character has lowercase so as you can see uh, those are extension functions or on a char sequence and that's how we are able to call those methods on this uh, char sequence and uh, if this uh, character or our password uh, has a lowercase then uh, we're going to set the value on, the, on this uh, lowercase uh, mutable live data to one and else we're going to set the value to zero okay so we're going to do the same trick for uh, uh, those uh, three left uh, mutable live data objects. So uh, basically when our password uh, contains a lowercase or uppercase or a digit or a special character, we want to set the value to one. And uh, if it doesn't contain, then we want to set the value to zero. Okay, so something like that. And uh, below that we will uh, create a new function called uh, calculate uh, uh, strength. And uh, this uh, uh, function will have uh, only per one parameter of uh, char sequence because it will take this uh, char sequence or password. Okay, so here let's uh, just pass this uh, char. Okay, and uh, here uh, we're going to create the logic needed for uh, for us to calculate actually the the strength of our uh, of our password. So here let's say first if our uh, password length is uh, from uh, 0 to 7, then this password strength will be uh, weak. So let's first set the strength color value to this uh, color weak, because that, that's the red color. And let's set this strength level value to weak, okay? All right, so in the next uh, else if block, we're going to say if our password uh, length is uh, somewhere between 8 and the 10, then I'm going to set the text color value to uh, color uh, medium. 
and of course I'm using this uh, if block to check if our password contains either a lowercase, uppercase, digit or a special characters. If that uh, password contains uh, some of those then I'm going to set the strength color to uh, medium and the strength level to medium, okay? And uh, in else if block we now want to create um, our uh, strong password. So if the password length is between uh, 11 and 16, then uh, I'm going to just copy this uh, if block from the previous example. And inside I want to create another if block. So our uh, strong password should contain uh, uppercase and the lowercase letters if we want to consider our password a strong password. So uh, now let's set the strength color value to uh, uh, r.color.strong and that's basically a yellow color. And for the strength level let's say just strong, okay? And finally in LC block we want to set the, the bulletproof password. So our bulletproof password should contain uh, more than 16 characters and uh, it should contain uh, lowercase letters, uppercase letters, digits and uh, special characters as well. So if our password con uh, contains all of that and it's bigger than 16 characters and only then it will be uh, considered as a bulletproof password, okay? And uh, now inside we're going to just uh, set the strength color value to uh, the new value and the strength level to bulletproof. Okay, so dot value equal to r dot color dot bulletproof and uh, it will have the color of green and the strength level to bulletproof, okay? All right, so let's recap once again. And uh, so whenever we type something inside our password input, we're calling this on text changed. And uh, we are checking if our password contains either lowercase, uppercase letters, digits or special characters. And uh, if it does, we are setting the value of those uh, mutable live data objects to either 1 or 0. And uh, down below we are calling this calculate strength uh, uh, function. And this function uh, is basically calculating the strength of our password. And it's setting this uh, strength color and strength level accordingly. So if our password is weak, then it will have the strength level of weak and the color of uh, red. And if it con uh, contains, uh, for example, a bulletproof then uh, it will uh, uh, have uh, the value of uh, uh, bulletproof of the strength level and the strength color of uh, this green and so on. So basically this function is calculating our password strength. So uh, all of that is pretty much uh, self-explanatory. And now let's go to our main activity and here I want to create a new variable named color and it will be the type of integer and its default value will be uh, the, this uh, red color. So uh, we're going to change this uh, value later, you will see. So now first I'm going to call this uh, password strength calculator and I'm going to observe this strength level mutable live data object and I'm going to name this uh, return value to uh, strength level. So whenever strength level is changed we want to uh, call this observer and we want to uh, call this method named display strength level. So let's create that method here. Okay, it will have the type of a string. So let's remove this question mark. And uh, first inside this uh, function, we want to uh, uh, set our button enabled or disabled. So if our strength level is uh, bulletproof, then our button will be enabled, else it will be disabled. So it's simple as that. And uh, down below, uh, we want to set the text, uh, the strength level text and the strength level uh, text color as well. So let's set this text to this uh, strength level which we passed through our parameters and the strength level text color as well. So let's use this uh, context compat. So as a color, I'm going to set the color which we uh, defined uh, on the top of our main activity. And uh, now uh, I'm going to show you how we can uh, observe this uh, color as well. But first let's set this uh, strength level indicator color to this uh, color as well. So this strength level indicator is basically this line uh, below our edit text and our uh, uh, text view. So here uh, next we will observe this strength color. Okay, so whenever this strength color value changes, then we want to assign our color uh, value on the top to this uh, new value. Okay, so that's how uh, we are able to get uh, the newest value of this uh, strength color and this strength color and strength uh, level are uh, calculated uh, whenever uh, uh, we type something inside our uh, password input field and we are setting those values accordingly. Okay. So it's simple as that. And uh, next uh, we want to observe four more different uh, mutable live datas. So we want to observe a lowercase, uppercase, uh, digit and special care. So let's just copy and paste and uh, rename this to uppercase, digit, okay. So whenever the values changes uh, for those uh, mutable live data objects, we want to call a new function named display password suggestion. And here I'm going to name the return value to a value. 
and this uh, function will have three parameters. The first is an integer value, the second is an image view, and the third one is a text view. So here uh, I am passing this lowercase image, lowercase text, and here I'm going to pass this uppercase image and uppercase text, and next uh, this uh, digit image and digit text, and so on. And uh, basically those uh, image view and text views are uh, already located inside our uh, main activity layout, and uh, we're going to highlight them uh, every time uh, those uh, values changes. So here I'm going to just uh, import image view and text view, and here I'm going to rename this to image view and this to text view. So I'm going to say if a value is equal to one, that means that our lowercase, uppercase, digit, or special characters are uh, actually inside our password, then I want to set the image view uh, color to color uh, blue uh, to color uh, green, okay? And I want to set the text uh, view uh, color to uh, color green as well, okay? So here let's uh, call this uh, text view dot uh, text uh, set text color, and I'm going to pass uh, this uh, green color as well. And uh, in else block, if uh, the value is actually zero, then we want to set the value uh, or the color to this uh, dark gray, okay? So let's run our application and uh, check it out. So uh, I'm going to type here uh, just a simple number, and as you can see, our digits uh, is highlighted, and uh, also this special characters, but we haven't specified any special characters, and uh, this is actually an error, uh, but we're going to fix that. So uh, as you can see, when I type a number, digits should be highlighted, but these special characters should not be highlighted. And uh, let's get to our password strength calculator. So we will uh, debug our application, and uh, inside this on text change, I want to create uh, four different uh, logs for each one of those uh, values, so for lowercase letters, uppercase letters, uh, digits, and uh, special characters. Okay, and uh, I'm going to uh, watch those logs uh, when I'm uh, interacting with the application to see uh, how it will go. So let's type the number. And as you can see, our digit is uh, 1, and our special character is 1. So there is something wrong with our special character, uh, has a special character uh, function, uh, extension function, which we have created. And let's scroll down below until we find it. So I'm going to cut and paste uh, this uh, forward slash at the end of this uh, regular expression. And uh, this should actually uh, remove this uh, error, okay? So now when I type the number, only these uh, digits uh, will highlight, okay? And nothing else. So when I type the number, only the number will highlight. So as you can see, uh, those logs are now working perfectly fine. So when I type the number, only the digit will have the number of 1. And uh, when I type uh, uh, uppercase letter, for example, only the uppercase letter will uh, get the, the number 1 and it will highlight as well. So as you can see, it works perfectly fine. And even when we remove uh, the characters, it will uh, update the UI accordingly. So let's type lowercase letters, uppercase letters, and digits, and also sp special characters. And as you can see, we have uh, all green, and our login button is now enabled. So everything works uh, perfectly fine. And again, uh, this project will be available on uh, GitHub, so you can uh, download and uh, check it out by yourself. Of course, uh, this uh, example could be improved uh, furthermore, but this is just uh, uh, my personal uh, preference of uh, how I'm doing that. Basically, I'm using this text watcher and uh, live data to observe uh, the values of those uh, of those uh, uh, integer and strings and so on, and I'm updating the UI accordingly. So uh, that will be all for this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and please like this video if you find it helpful, and if you want to see more interesting contents like this one.